I'm going home. <laughs> I'm leaving. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Live Poor Women's Podcast. This is episode 44. Um, when I asked Amy two minutes ago if she had a kick-off question, she said no. So I don't think she's thought of one in the space of those two minutes. No. Which, Has anyone else got one? I mean, you do it every other podcast, pretty much. So I feel like it is your job to, to I'm, make I'm, one. I'm but... really running on bare bones today, I'm not going to lie to you. You've had more sleep than me. Yeah, because I chose to go to bed early. Well, yeah, so, I mean, I'm, but I'm perfectly fine right now. Well, good for you. Running on adrenaline. High on life. I mean, yeah, could be worse. I could be sat, I could be tired for the wrong reasons and said I'm tired for the right reasons. You could reasons. be any other football fan who's just not, whose team's just not won the European Cup. I could, I, mean? I could, yeah. So, you know, can't you look like stars? Anyway. <laughs> All six of them. <laughs> Wait. We need to set, sort that out. Yeah. Has anyone got a sticky note that I can just put a star on quickly? No, we haven't got time for that. Right. Well, Tom will process. Just imagine, you just put one in in the edit. There, N- there we go. You can edit it then. So I'll do it. <laughs> um, we're going to sh- dive straight into the news because a, f- a couple of things have happened. Um, yesterday, I was just sitting in Munich airport waiting for my flight home. Looked down, um, I seen a tweet that I didn't want to see in my lifetime. All I heard was, Amy! And (laughs) and they're like, yeah, what? (laughs) And she's like, Laura Coombs. I said, yeah, what about the woman? She's gone to City. And then I go, you, what? Yeah. I mean, fair play. I'm actually, I'm I'm really sad about it. It's not... Um, I was gutted when she left because I was like, oh, like, she's been with us for ages, like, she's a boss player, like, sort of ran on midfield at times, and I was like, oh, she's going to be a big miss. But in my head, I was like, I, I was like, oh, well, you know, 20, was she 29? 20, she's late 20s. She's late 20s. She clearly, like, wasn't, like, happy or whatever. You don't know the circumstances. But then I was like, oh, she won't go. I don't think she'll go anywhere else. I thought she, I thought she'd finish her career, to be honest. And then she just goes and says, bloody Man City, and I was like, well, why? Like, you, like not to be harsh on her because she's a she's a brilliant player, but think of the players she has to compete with in order to play every week. Yeah. Like, and she's gone there. Like, it doesn't make like, to personally, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, it looks like a squad depth move for Man City. Yeah. It, yeah, it is because. But why but, would you want to go somewhere where she's guaranteed a start at Liverpool? She's not going to be guaranteed a start at Man City. Yeah, exactly. That's my point of view. And especially like the likes of like, depending on how Kira Walsh pretty much gets in Man City's team anyway. We are getting every time. We are Jill Scott, G- George Stanmore is a boss World Cup, then you can't turn around to it. Tessa Wallet. You're not starting. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Although she's more of a then, woman, but. Also, I, I looked at it as Man City have signed Ellen White as well recently, another English player. Are they wanting to have more English players to their roster rather than just bringing in from abroad? From abroad? I don't know whether it's that. I think it's the calibre of players. They're getting established players rather than, than players that they're drafting in from other leagues. They're getting established yeah. WSL players. And well, I think, to me, that looks like they're... They are a hundred percent going for the league next season. Well, look at Laura Hume's got to the semi final of the Champions League with Arsenal. She's got to an FA Cup semi final with Chelsea. Maybe the final. Can't. I'm not hundred percent sure. She was, she was. She got far. Um. Made like over a hundred through SL appearances. Like, she is a very established player, so you can see where. They're coming from with it all, and maybe the, it's the same with Alan White, though, isn't it? Really, she's yeah. established established in the England squad as well. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, just, I just like we lost Weir, we lost Bonner to City. Like, I just um, think that she, I, I think she was, I think she'll have been highly tempted to go last season, but they've turned around and said, You've got a year left on your contract, see it out. So that's what she's done. You can't fault her for 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 going. To be honest, like 
it was it was good it was good enough it was good half here to stay last season when it, everyone else didn't and then you know obviously she wants with her being in the late twenties she probably wants to think she probably thinks well I want to win trophies not got much time left and this this I've put team probably not is it is it probably isn't going to win any trophies next season I don't think so anyway maybe they, you could go down the route of the fact that. Ricky Jetson's got someone else lined up, and she's had that conversation. Well, can she with tell her. me what it is? Because I'm, I, I want to know. Because at the minute our squad's very, very thin. I just think maybe she's had that conversation with Gamesy and been like, "Look, we're having someone in. I'd love you to stay, but I am going to be signing someone new." And maybe Coombs has seen that as in, well, I was, I was thinking of going anyway, but that sort of cemented my position. Yeah, maybe. That could have been a conversation they could have had, but I don't think I don't think Vicky Jepson would have wanted to lose a, a no. player like Laura I think she'll, Jepson will have done everything possible to keep her here, but at the end of the day, when a player decides that they've they've had enough and they don't want to be a part of a club anymore, who she can't she can't stand in their way, mm. can they? Can she? So it's a it's it's a real shame, and I'm going to be brutally honest. When I first saw it, I was a bit angry. I'm going to be honest, and I know this is on YouTube, but I'm a fan. Like I'm I'm going to say it how it is. Because I'm like, I think it, it's from a from a perspective that I'm a Liverpool fan, and obviously I don't want any players to leave, and especially go to 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 a club like City, where I'm like, I don't like them as it is. Mm. So I was a little bit like, well, fair enough, they might be able to give you something more than what we can, but we want you, to, we wanted you to stay. Yeah. Like she's a massive part of us and she's a massive part of, of, of the fans like community as well. Yeah. So I was a little bit angry. I'm not angry anymore. Like I've had I've had some sleep so I feel a little bit better about it. And rightly so she's gone she's gonna gone to make her career yeah. more successful. And as you said, we might not win a trophy next season and that's probably something that she's thought about and said, Well I see City winning one so I'm gonna go there. Like when we had an interview with her a couple of months back now, she said she'd love nothing more than to to have another good FA Cup run and win the FA Cup. And obviously, so maybe, City have just City won it. City have so. just won it. So, like, they're obviously going to go far in the competition again next season. And that's not to say we're, we, we're not. Do you know what I mean? We could go on and win it. We Anything got to, can happen. We got to a quarter final this season, so, like, you never know. But it is what it is. I'm just it hoping is. that. We need to sign some players. I'm hoping that we bring someone in at the same level, if not a little bit better, or getting there that Lauren Coombs was at. We now need a creative player. Christy Murray, yeah. fair enough, we've got her, and she's she's brilliant, but is she going to be able to play every single game of the season next season? Probably not. I think now that she's got... Now that Christy Murray's got a season under her belt with us, and like in the WSL, like, I think that next season she's going to be better, like better. Well, I hope so, but we we need some more creativity yeah. in the field. But yeah, we do. We need we need just more creativity in general. I think. I think we've commented on Sweet and Cake so much this season to get us those goals, and when she hasn't been far enough on the pitch, we've really struggled. And there was a there was a, there was a time where we had a lot of injured players. And I, yeah, I just I just feel like. I, I want us to sign someone. Like, yeah. City have done well so far signing people. Arsenal have done very well signing mm. signing some players. United as well. I haven't really heard much of you. I think, was it Bristol signed someone? Someone like that. Like, teams are getting their work done. And I think yeah. it was the same conversation that I, got, I had with my brother last year before the, uh, the Men's World Cup started. You get your business done before the World Cup. And we're a few days away now. And... We've not seen much happen. It could be different in the women's game, could be, but usually you get your business done before a major tournament because players get injured, they then they don't sign, sort of stuff. But then a, a competition like the World Cup is, is the opportunity where you, where you send your scouts and you you don't know. Look at like. But they could tap, other people would then tap them up. That's, and then you com compete with them. Yeah, and but then, you have to compete with clubs anyway. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just Potentially the way it is. not if they're. The number one target after the World Cup, then it gets a little bit more difficult. I see, no, I see, I see what you mean. But, but if you I'm, I'm always, I'm always in favour of getting your business done before it. But if you look at 
how much Rodriguez before the 2014 World Cup? No one had even really heard of him. Mm. He has a belt of a World Cup and he signs for Real Madrid for a, for a world record of fade, you know what I mean? And I mean, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm not really bothered about where, where he is or what he's doing now, but that happened. And that's going to happen for so many players in this women's tournament as well. Because think of, think of players from like Thailand and Nigeria and all that. Jamaica. Who, Exactly, who are like playing for the clubs that are so much lower than what they probably should be, who can make a name for themselves and then further and, develop, yeah, and developing the WSL. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's there's those type of players, and especially young players as well. This is the time for them to be like, I'm going to show people what I can do, yeah. And if they get the that, that small little break at a club, then they're going to take the opportunity with both hands. Like, that people are going to look at Liverpool and, and say, I'm going to play for Liverpool. Yeah, we're not, we're not the most attractive team. We've had a little bit of trouble. But it's still Liverpool, do you know what I mean? Like, you're going to play for a top side mm. at a top club who, who who will go places in the next couple of seasons. So that's what I look at it as. The World Cup is the World Cup's like your own a personal... Platform, yeah. It's like your own personal brand of of shopping, isn't it? It's, like, it's mm. basically like an online shop where you can be like... I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. Add, add to basket. Five Check pound, out. Five pounds for delivery, no thank you. I mean, I think it'd be a little bit more expensive if you delivered a player, I'm not going to lie to you, but I'll let you I'll let you keep that in. Yeah, but, that, yeah, that's what, that's what I think. Um, we got a question. We're going to... This podcast is pretty much going to be, like... Transfer updates, like club updates over the next up up until like pre season and all stuff like that, and the like games begin again, because obviously there's there's a World Cup, so we're not gonna not talk about it on here as well. Also, we have very limited time. Yeah, <laughs> we have no time no to time. be able to do like an in depth podcast, and there's probably nothing really to talk. No, about. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing really to chat about because there's the seasons. There's nothing going on with Liverpool other than transfers, but you never read it in any way. So you don't hear it until it happens. Exactly. But um, we got a question on Twitter. I think it was. Um, they want to know who's our favourite to win the World Cup and how far can England go? And we've, we discussed, we put a, like an, a World Cup Q&A out last week. Or the week before or whenever it was. I don't know. They all all the weeks recently. It just, just like rolled into, into one. Into one yeah. It was recently. It's on YouTube. It's on the channel going on. I feel like it. it was last week. It was. Um, and like we sort of got, we sort of got asked this question, but then I feel like what... The like the bookies' favorite, so, so as like as you would say, compared to like what do people, your own personal. Do people bet on women's football? Yeah. Really. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start. You could you could a couple of weeks ago you could bet on the um, Houston Dash game. I was gonna do Rachel Day to score, but I was like I have fifty p in my account, so. <laughs> do you reckon you can make a lot of money from gambling on women's football? No, because the odds are awful. I think maybe in the World Cup the odds would be a lot better, but like when it's like WSL and whatever, like they're not, they're not really that high. A win's a win, though, isn't it? Not be yeah, but like if you bet like a pound, you only get like one pound nineteen back, and it's like one. Ninety p will buy you three fudges. I don't like fudge. So. <laughs> I actually can't. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't like fudge. It's like no help to me that that comment. It's okay. It's alright. Who's your favourite to win the World Cup Thanks, Tom. Um, back on the track. Uh, I think the top three is no. Who is your no, one? No, I'm not. I haven't answered the question. I haven't finished answering the question. But you yet. started off saying top three. I think the question not one. Did I say these are my top three, or did I say I think the top three? That's the same thing. So the, I think the top three of what people are saying at the minute is England, USA, or Germany. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going back and back on me. You know. Home sides. I'm go. If I was able to pick out of them three, it's, it's us. Mm. I don't know who I'd go for. You know, I feel like it'd be 
I'm going to do a Lauren here. I've got three to choose from. I haven't got three to choose from. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be between us, Germany and Japan. And I'm actually itching towards Japan, you know. But I'm going to go Germany because I can make a decision. I just made the decision. <laughs> Spend, uh, oh, it's getting rather warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, Japan's a good shout. Ne you could throw Netherlands in there as well, but I don't. I know. can't have more than one apparently, so I'm not gonna say. We've spent too much time with each other recently. What about, what about uh, Netherlands? Just said Netherlands. <laughs> you you've got the headphones on. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean Canada. I like. I do like Canada as a team, but. I don't think so. I don't think they can win it. I think they can get like they'll get they'll definitely get out the groups, but I don't think they'll win it. So as any Canadian. I don't even know who's in their group. I can't even think who's in their group. But I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's quality stuff that Amy. Really so, sell really sell analysis. If this is someone's first video that they've watched it's just stumbled across the thing, I, I think I'm not I'm not subscribing. Please just gif all my facial expressions to be like. Anyway, um, England have left for France today. You mm. seen all the videos this morning of them all going. They all look. We've been on. We've been on too many planes recently. They were at um, Did they go from Gatwick or Heathrow? Because we were at Heathrow yesterday. Might have seen them. If, if they met up at St George's Park, it'll be Midlands, wouldn't it? No, they didn't. It said it's it said on the ticket before oh, I, where it was. But I didn't read it. It wasn't East. It wasn't East Midlands. I didn't read it. I think it, I think it was Gatwick. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Do you know um, in German airport is Flughafen? <laughs> <laughs> I love that word, Flughafen. <laughs> That's a sign Germany gonna win the World Cup. Oh, that I just got tears in my eyes, you know. <sighs> Flughafen. I really hope it is that now. Otherwise, that's really awkward. Where did you see that? In Munich yesterday. Is that yesterday? Yeah. Flughafen. Or I really hope it's not, you know. Flug I really hope it's not. Flughafen. It is. <laughs> it's the flug. It's the flug bar. Flughafen. Right. You know, Tsugayen means... Oh, I'm not bothered. And Österreich is Austria. Thanks for that. Way. Okay, sorry, I just had to get that in there at some point. Flug Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> World Cup kicks off on Friday. France and... How will all the players be getting there? Via a... Flug Alvin. Oh, I'm done now. Carry on. The first game is France versus South Korea. Wow. It's pure sarcasm, man. No, I'm actually... I just can't believe it's on Friday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> well done. Sorry, I just... Yesterday just was, was spent going around there several... Full of calvins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't need to see another look Alvin in a while. <laughs> Tell you what. Do you see, like, I know, right, can I just say, everybody who watches this podcast, they see, like, half an hour, 40 minutes of Amy. She is like this all <laughs> the time. Fluke <laughs> Alvin. Uh, <Flug> <laughs> um, <laughs> you look, you look, you've took, like, some form of drug. I feel drunk. I don't know why, but I do. I think I'm just so tired. Why are France going to win it? Mm. I don't know. They're, prob they're probably f up there because it's, cause it's in France. Cause, but I really don't know who's going to win. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I haven't got a clue. Usually it, yeah. I've got an idea of, like, knowledge-wise, but I just don't know. I feel like it, is so it is hard to pick. And me saying England is, like, me just being purely biased and because I know our oh, squad. Oh, yeah, we got, we got shouted out, well, shouted at. The other day, saying we're too biased. Was anyone coming? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just... Yeah, yeah, there was only one comment. 
And I was just like, you know what? We are allowed like, to be. It's a free But country. the person's picture was a USA flag, so I'm sure if you asked Emmy, that he or she would go, USA. Exactly, like, there's not wrong supporting your home nation. Yeah, I want England to win, but if you... I, th- I think it's going to be hard to... S- it's hard for us to sit here and say, oh, England's going to win, USA going to win, Japan going to win, because you haven't seen any games yet. You haven't seen how the team are going to perform. I just want there to be a good display of women's football. Exactly. And I think once the group stages are out the way, that's when you can fully sit down and be like... They're, they're looking on form. They're oh. the winners. So, um, in- so the first game's Friday. England don't play their first game till Sunday. Obviously, against Scotland... Big occasion. Both sides will want to get off to win and ways. Do you think? Who do you think? Who are you going for? What? What's like? What's your team? Do you want to know my starting eleven? Yeah. Is that like what? The is this okay. is this preferred or is this like? This is my preferred. Okay. Actually. No, it's a mixture of my preferred, and my not preferred. So it's okay. my mixture. I'm just gonna go. This is. I'm just gonna read the team out. Um, I've gone for Telford in goal. Really? It was between her and Bardsley, but I've gone for Telford. Okay. Back four of Lucy Bronze, because don't play her in midfield, midfield Phil, please. Thank you. Uh, I've gone for the back pair of Brighton Houghton yep. and Stokes as the other wing back. Cool. It's between her and Greenwood, but I went, you know, Stokes has just edged it for me. Um, I've gone Karen Carney and Kira Walsh in the two. Mm. I feel like Karen Carney will be the one further ahead while she'll be sitting, sort yeah. of thing. Kirby is a number 10. Mm-hmm. Then I've gone Mead, Duggan and Paris as the front three. Mead, Duggan and Paris. Okay. Yeah. I've gone Bardsley in goal. Bronze, Horton. I said it. You said Horton. Did I say Horton or Horton? I thought I said Horton. No. Oh, uh, man asked. I've gone, and then Brighton, I've gone Greenwood at left back. Um, I've gone Jill Scott, Kira Walsh and Karen Carney as my midfield three. Whatever, wherever you want to play them. Don't know what he's going to do. Um, and then Paris, White and Mead up front. You're not playing Kirby? No. I'm going for... I feel like he's going to go very experienced in the midfield to start off with, with Scott and Carney and then like a little bit of like... Obviously, who else are you going to pick? You can't not play Kira Walsh, I don't think. I think Kirby's a very much an impact player off a bit off the bench for this type of game. Could be. She's a bit tricky, isn't she? Mm. Bring it on, 65 minutes, 70 the, minutes. I think the midfield's where you're going to win or lose the game. Because yeah. if you look at Scotland's midfield, obviously depending on who they play, you've got the likes of Weir, Kim Little, yeah. Aaron Cuthbert, who were like proper attacking minded players who are going to be yeah. at you 24-7. Yeah, Aaron Cuthbert's going to be the one to watch for Scotland in that game, I think. She got an absolute whale the other day. Oh, and Karen, we're both mm. did. Love got love got like free kick or long I love range shot. Love a good worldy, like. Yeah. <laughs> they just score, and I'm like, yes. I just love the enthusiasm about it. I know. I'm not 100 percent today. I'm not gonna lie. Have you, are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> shattered. Like a piece of glass all over the floor. I'm broken. What you score? I should be on Euphoria. Um, two one England. <laughs> Who's your goal scorers? Paris, Mead. Okay, I've gone three one. I'm saying Paris, White, and Horton. I'm gonna call it here first. Scotland are gonna score first. Mm. Gonna Throw score a bit of a first. spanner in the works. I'm throwing the whole kitchen sink in the works. Oh, that was a bit of energy there. Oh, I feel a bit tired now. <laughs> that was the second wind that's gone. Yeah. I think I think left back is the um is the one where you like but also you could say like if he does play Lucy Bronze in midfield then Rachel Daly's playing right back. I think that's why he's gone very like light in midfield, like like why he's picked like like Jade Moore and stuff like that, because he will play he's going to play Lucy Bronze in midfield at some point. I don't think he is. Thank you. I think she comes on. No, we'll just, she'll be on the pitch, but I think she'll go to midfield if we are desperate and we're losing seventy minutes to go. Because I'm sorry, if if you if you look if you're looking at team management here, 
You've got you've got midfielders on the bench. Stanway, for example. Scott, if she's not playing. Imagine it, what you'd feel like if you put a defender into midfield over not choosing them to go on. I think that's that's hard. That's harsh. It happens. Potentially necessary management, but I think on them it's a bit harsh. It happened that she believes so, didn't it? It did, and... <laughs> so what? Like, that's not the World Cup. This is yeah. the biggest stage of them all. Yeah. Mm. It's a fair point. It is a fair point, but I think at some point she she is going to start a game in midfield. I think that maybe that's... I think it'll purely be so you can play someone else at the back as well. Why would you want to play anyone else at the back apart from Lucy Bronze? Because he, I think he'd play Lucy Bronze up front or in goal if, if he wanted to. I think, like... She, for me, she, you need to play her where she's best at. She's the world's best right back and you're playing her in midfield. I don't understand that. I think she's just because... I think she's very... She's quick. She doesn't, she doesn't shy away from a tackle like, like most of them don't. I think she's just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's reason behind it. Because if you ask any England fan, whenever you speak to anyone about it, they don't know. Either. They don't like it. They don't like her playing midfield. And yeah, like she's a right back. I get it, but he seems to like her there. And for some reason, he sees more than we do. So exactly, he knows the stuff. So do what you want, Phil. Just as long as we win, I don't care. Play whoever you want, wherever you want. Just win the game. Um. There's a there's a lot of other matches coming up this weekend, so I've got them. I've got it from Friday to Sunday. It well, I've, there's one Monday fiction there. Cause so just Friday because to Monday. No, but that's just because the way it's worked on the thing, so you don't have to, just don't pay attention to that. So Friday we've got. But that says Monday. Oh my god! I've just explained why it's there. Well, why doesn't it say Sunday? Because it's not doesn't doesn't play on Sunday. It's there because it's just the way Google's done the fixtures. So oh, okay, I got you. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I just had to ask. <laughs> I explained it before you asked. Yeah, but you didn't explain it very well. <sighs> Why haven't you put all the first round, group round on? What do you mean? I've just picked the first, first match day one of three. I've picked match day ones. But where's the USA? Oh my god, I've just picked the game from Friday to Sunday. But why haven't you picked the whole of? Because we'll talk about it in the next week's podcast. All right, jeez, I'm just asking. Fifty questions about it. Yeah, but it just would make more sense to put all of the groups. But that's not the way Google worked it. I've picked this weekend's fixtures. Okay. So can you tell me which out of them, which ones you've gone for for the winners, please? Um, I've got France to win against South Korea, Germany to win against China, mm. S- South Africa to win against Spain. Really? Why not? Um, Norway to win against... No, I don't know about that one. I think that'll be a draw. <laughs> Australia to beat Italy, Brazil to beat Jamaica, although that I think that's a tough game. England to beat Scotland, and apparently I'm not allowed to say the other ones. I'm going to leave it. Okay. What about you? I've gone the same, except I've done Spain to beat South Africa. I think, South Africa. I think Australia, Italy might be a, a draw. Nah. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. We will see. We will see. Where? But but also today after this, we're filming a um a ones to watch video. So we're going to pick a handful of players who we like and who we think will perform well. You know, I've felt a lot of players this is going to be their first World Cup, like first major tournament as well, so you never know. You never know. You could find the next biggest star of England or South Africa or Spain or Italy women's football. You could watch it happen. You could watch it unfold in front of your in eyes. In your very eyes. The world's changing, people. We're going up in this world. How long have we been going for, Tom? Ah, oh, it's enough. That's fine, then. It's enough. <laughs> OK, 
Get me out of here. Get me out of this room. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Most of you probably clicked off after 10 minutes. That's fine as well. We got the view anyway. So, you know. <laughs> I'm really joking. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Like the video if you liked it. Comment. Let us know your thoughts. If you've got a question, ask us a question. If you agree with anything, if you disagree with anything that we've said, let us know. Um, keep an eye out for the ones to watch video and we will see you all next week with another podcast. Ta-da.